I was almost out of the theater when Darren said, no, come back, take a bow. For a while now, the world has been wondering where Brendan Fraser is. Well, it seems the actor is back in Hollywood and back commanding the screen thanks to his performance in The Whale, which received a six-minute standing ovation after its screening at the 2022 Venice Film Festival. As of 2018, it was said that Brendan was still living in a New York suburb close to his ex-wife's home in Connecticut, where their three sons also live. Prior to that, he had lived for about a decade in a sleek and modern Beverly Hills home when he was at the height of his fame. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Brandon Fraser is an American Canadian actor known for his leading roles in blockbusters, comedies, and action films, rising to fame mainly for his role as Rick in the Mummy movie trilogy from 19 1999 to 2008. He further received acclaim for dramatic roles such as in Gods and Monsters and the ensemble cast film Crash. However, around 2014, Brendan stepped back from the big screen and we haven't seen much of him since then. There were a number of factors that contributed to this, from his divorce from longtime wife and mother to his children, Afton Smith, in 2009, as well as an alleged sexual assault he came forward about in 2018 that was said to have happened in 2003. While Brendan did not publicly speak about his experience as a victim. At the time it happened, there was a deep depression that followed the incident, as well as the belief that his declining Hollywood roles were a result of blacklisting. Frazier has also spoken to the impact of performing stunts in his action-packed roles, which has led to several surgeries from work on his vocal cords to a partial knee replacement and more. Despite an extended break from big screen productions, Brendan was still working, acting on TV roles in series like The Affair, Texas Rising, and more. As of 2021, however, Brendan has shown his break from movies is over. Not only did he act in the crime thriller No Sudden Move, he's set to star in Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon and was further cast as Firefly in the DC movie Batgirl, both of which are upcoming. Recently, Brendan has received a six-minute standing ovation at the 2022 Venice Film Festival for his performance in the Darren Aronofsky film The Whale. Not only did this reaction make Brendan himself emotional, it's exciting for fans and viewers alike to see the beloved star making a well-deserved comeback. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, looking at where Brendan Fraser calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Long before Brendan Fraser decided to take a hiatus from Hollywood and the public eye, he did have a long time home in Los Angeles where he lived for about a decade. The sleek contemporary home last appeared on the market in 2016 for the price of $4.5 million, but Brendan had previously sold it around 2007 for $2.99 million according to records. He and his family had lived here for just over a decade after he would purchase it in 1996 for the discount price of $670. $75,000, just as he was making his name in Hollywood. The mid-century modern pad was located in the coveted post office neighborhood of Beverly Hills in Los Angeles on a private cul-de-sac overlooking a canyon. Of course, there was also a gate out front and plenty of security. It's reported that the home was built in 1959 and of course has been updated immensely over the years, offering up 3,948 square feet of space with three bedrooms and four bathrooms bathrooms throughout. There was also a bonus bedroom that Brendan used as a home gym while living here. Listing materials from the time of sale said the architect Rex Lottery built the house in the quintessential mid-century design and the home had been expanded and reinterpreted for the millennium. Walking into Brendan's former home, there was a light and airy vibe along with an open floor plan. The property boasted soaring ceilings with full walls of glass plenty of white in the color scheme, and other details like glass and stainless steel throughout. 
To complement these sleek aspects of the home, there are warm blonde hardwood floors underfoot and clerestory windows. In the main living room, the focal point was definitely the double height wall of windows that offered up views of the city, canyon, and ocean. While a second floor balcony with maple floors looked down into this room too. The galley kitchen here was slightly narrow with a long chrome counter and white cabinets as well as modern appliances. There was also an attached dining space with built-in booth seating. While for more formal meals, the kitchen opened right up to the sunny glass wall dining room. Upstairs, there was a second loft style family room as well. Brendan's former home truly embodied a Hollywood lifestyle considering other amenities inside other than the home gym, included a photography darkroom, a home theater, a wine cellar, and an office. Out of the bedrooms, there were actually two master suites in the home, one of which was slightly more impressive than the other. That master suite had a loft, fireplace, and sitting area from which you could see the hills through floor to ceiling glass. The entire home was designed to easily blend the indoor and outdoor spaces with many of the glass walls retracting to lead to the terraces. For instance, Glass doors off of the living room opened right up to a deck and the multiple terraces on the property take advantage of California's warm weather. There's a tree shaded patio amongst the outdoor entertaining spaces while tucked at the back of the house, you'll find the solar heated swimming pool and spa, which was also equipped with waterfalls. While this stunning home served Brendan for a number of years before moving on from it, he ultimately moved away from the West Coast a while after to the state of New York. While no photos or certain details about the actor's New York residence have been revealed, Brendan has been living here for a handful of years now. He opened up his property to be interviewed by GQ magazine back in 2018, which is when this was confirmed, but it would seem he lived there before then as well. After divorcing his wife of 10 years, Afton Smith, in 2008, eventually Brendan moved to Bedford, New York, which is in the outskirts of the city, and also close to where his ex-wife lives with their three sons in Connecticut. His 2018 GQ interview did share a glimpse into his property in Bedford. Brendan showed them his horse, whose name is Picas. Frazier met the horse on the set of the History Channel series, Texas Rising, where he played a Texas Ranger, which was filmed in Mexico. Brendan said about the horse that they had a moment and that without pretending that the animal is a human he looked like he needed help like get me out of here man well brenton keeps this horse in a barn in bedford which he reportedly lives nearby to and his main property is said to overlook this farm he also reveals he's located about an hour north of manhattan also in the interview we're told that brenton lives down a dirt road in a tall, angular house with a wide lawn that descends to a glittering lake. But that's almost all we know about the place. And inside, his home is said to consist mainly of dark wood, but also boasts an open plan layout and feel with windows that look right out to the backyard. He also has space on his property for a handful of activities as there's a soccer goal, trampoline, tetherball area, zip line, swimming pool, and more in his yard. Brendan's sons reportedly spent a lot of time on the property with him when they aren't at their mom's place, so there's always plenty of activities for them to enjoy. We also know that Brendan himself has a large array of hobbies, from being an accomplished amateur photographer, and he's even an accomplished amateur archer, using his skills in the show Texas Rising. While it's obvious that Brendan Fraser has kept himself busy during his break from on-screen productions, everyone seems delighted to have the star back where he belongs. It seems that with Brendan's transformative role in The Whale, which was already met with praise, alongside the other big upcoming roles he has, this could very well be his major comeback. We'll just have to see if he stays put in Bedford or if he plans to move back to Hollywood. Well, that's going to conclude this house tour. Let me know what you thought of where Brendan calls home down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!